So, we all know this is a thing. We've fallen. Ever since 2019, we've just gone smack bang, hit the floor. But Arsenal, the club who finished second in a one horse race, they had the cheek to banter us when Leicester won the league and we were the only team putting pressure on them, then we finished third. You were nine points clear. You spent close to 300 days at the top of the Premier League, and you bottled it. Absolutely bottled it. You have a young squad, yes. Inexperienced, maybe. So, But you can't use that as an excuse now when I've, been watching Arsenal fans all season say that you're going to win the league. And you get knocked out of Europa League. we got bigger fish to fry. Turns out you're vegan. Because you didn't, you didn't fry them fish either. But Arsenal, the title dodges, right? But do you know what really does take the biscuit? The fact that you can... Sit there and say, oh, but we still had a better season than Man United. No, nah, no. Nah. If Man United finished top four, you both had the same end product. You just get a little bit more money. Oh, no, that's incorrect because Man United have actually won a trophy this season. In case you've forgotten, those are what Premier League medals look like. Winners medals. They're beautiful, nice, shiny, golden. But Arsenal won't see that. First title charge in 20 years. And you flopped it. Arsenal have statistically become the Premier League's biggest bottlers after throwing away a 13-point lead with a game in hand and not winning the title. Huh. Funny that. Speaking of bottlers, 16-17 Tottenham... Got more points than 22-23 Arsenal. Make it make sense. So you can stick to bottling league titles. Because we might not be going near them. But we're in a rebuild stage. We're rebuilding. And when we go back to fighting for the Premier League title again. We're going to give it a better effort than you did. And we're not going to bottle it. Come on, you Spurs.